Love wine? Yep. Love cruising? Yep. If so, keep watching today's episode of Planet Cruise Weekly because we're talking about the many different ways you can enjoy wine at sea. Well, hello, I'm Keith and this is my old cruise mucker, Glenn. Hello, two, mate. Two ex-cruise mates. Worked at sea for over 25 years between yes. us. And uh, we've tasted our fair share of fine wines in that time. I've tasted some rubbish stuff and all. Yes, yeah, very true. <laughs> That's very true, yeah. Though, though most of that wasn't on board cruise oh, ships. Of course not. No, absolutely not. Um, our cruising and wine are two interests that make a perfect pairing. Not only can most cruise lines transport you to notable wine districts all over the world, but many also bring wine tastings, presentations and experiences on board. And if you consider yourself something of a connoisseur or just simply enjoy a simple glass of vino every now and again uh, and would like to learn some more, there are a number of destinations and types of cruises that could be right for you. So it's poll time before we start. Very simply, we want to know whether you like red wine, white wine or rosé white. White. <laughs> get the link up there and get involved. Now, cruise ships come in all shapes and sizes, but they all have one thing in common. They specialise in doing their very best wine and dine you. There's always a dedicated wine menu on board uh, and the trained sommeliers are always on hand to give you expert pairing advice. But it doesn't stop there. Most cruise lines also have dedicated wine bars where you can enjoy a variety of wines in excellent and intimate atmospheres, normally with some nice tasting nibbles on the of side. Course. And increasingly, cruise ships are building their own wine cellars and therefore can offer a much broader selection of onboard wines and vintages. Most cruise lines now offer their own wine tasting classes as part of their enrichment offering. And in a hands-on wine tasting experience, an expert will help you train your nose to pick up on every undertone, to guide you through every variety of grape, and teach you the art of wine tasting. You'll be able to taste many types of fine wine and have the opportunity to take a bottle of your favourite away with you. There may even be wine-related excursions on your particular cruise, meaning you can taste the wine fresh from the vineyard in fantastic locations like Porto and Bordeaux. Now, this ranges from larger well-known vineyards to the smaller winemakers and their families who will more likely serve you themselves and impart some amazing local knowledge. These vineyard trips are especially common on river cruises, where you'll be travelling through the heart of the countries along rivers lined with vineyards, and where of course access to these vineyards is so much easier. Now, one of the latest trends is dedicated wine themed cruises, with guest speakers travelling on board and many excursions to tavern wine yards and wineries throughout the itinerary. These guest speakers, often called wine hosts, can be knowledgeable wine instructors, world renowned wine sommeliers winery owners and professional winemakers. From providing expert advice and knowledge through wine tasting and lectures, conversations over dinner, to treating you to rare bottling or private reserves, this is the ultimate wine lovers cruising experience. Now the other main recent wine and cruising innovation is that some lines have started including the ability to blend your own wine on board the cruise ship. You'll have your own wine expert on board who will tell you which wines mix well together and give you that perfect taste for your own palate. Holland America's MS Koningsdam is the perfect example of this as they brought the first winemaking blend bar to sea back in 2017. So people ask good areas to cruise for wine lovers and where in the world should lovers of the grape look to cruise? Now let's start off close home, let's start in Europe. Now when it comes to European wines there is an incredible number of places worth exploring. Italy, France, Spain, Germany and Portugal are generally the most popular, but just about every country produces their own blend, not forgetting the UK. Oh yeah, wine is on the up in the UK. So, we talked about Europe, now we're going to recommend the USA. In fact, around 90% of North American wine is produced in the sunny state of California, which is another popular cruise destination. Sunshine and wine, what more could you want? Exactly. Now, a number of round the world cruises, um, American cruises and even Caribbean cruises stop in California and ports like San Francisco are a great place to spend a few extra days or maybe a cruise and stay type holiday. You can visit the glorious wine regions of Sonoma and Napa Valley for some brilliant wine experiences either on an excursion um, or individually and horse riding here is a really special and memorable way to explore the vineyards. Now a cruise in Africa is a fantastic and exhilarating opportunity to experience some of the most wonderful and unique aspects of our world. As well as new scenery, food and of course culture, if your cruise includes a stop in South Africa, you're in for a treat where wine is concerned as well. Many cruise lines offer some brilliant wine themed excursions including tasting, 
tours of famous wine estates, and of course, the chance to buy some exquisite bottles. And in fact, if you get a chance, try Pinotage, which is their kind of main plastic South African grape. Beautiful, really tasty. Then we've got Australasia. So although Australian wine came pretty late into the game considering the history of wine in other regions, its popularity has seen a dramatic increase in recent years. Um, and now it's the fourth biggest exporter of wine in the world. And there were wine regions all over the vast country, including around Adelaide, Sydney and Melbourne. Now in the Adelaide Hills alone, there's about 50 different wineries. There's 43 of them. <laughs> <laughs> and you can find cruise excursions taking tastings in several of these with a delicious gourmet lunch often included. My personal favourite, and I've will back me up here is the Barossa Valley uh, with its famous big bold and fruity Shirazes. Now let's have a look at some of the cruise lines that obviously take part in this wonderful venture mm. and as we've already mentioned pretty much all lines and cruises have a variety of wine, wines to drink on board and offer wine themed tours but let's look at some of the real corkers. Now moving on to Princess Cruises. Now Princess Cruise ships have vines which is a wine bar tucked away in the atrium and an extensive collection of wines from all over the world. It's even been voted one of the best wine bars at sea and you can try a multitude of wines with the option to munch on some gourmet tapas while you sip. Now, Princess Cruises have also introduced a wine blending and tasting session on board their flagship Royal Princess. In fact, TV presenter Philip Schofield, who recently became an ambassador for Princess Cruises, was kind enough to let us chat to him and ask him about his experiences with wine blending on the Royal Princess Cruise. It's a, a really fantastic hour to spend and I think it'll be very, very popular when you have you know, the three individual great varieties, there was Cabernet Franc, I think it was Pinot Noir and there was Cabernet Sauvignon and, uh, and you, could, you could blend uh, depending on you know, whether you wanted a little softer, a bit more tannin uh, and so uh, it, it was interesting because I hadn't done that before and, and also very interesting because uh, uh, Steph likes her wine much softer so, uh, so we blended two very different um, uh, glasses of wine um, and that was, uh, I, 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 but funny enough, you learn quite a bit, you know. Mm. And I, having the, the grapes individually and playing with them was was fun, and the and the the wines on board were terrific. I mean, it said that right the very right from the word go, when uh, when we were all talking, um, and uh, and I and I was sold on on the fact that it, you know this is the a core to the guest experience. Yeah. It's really good food mm. and really exceptional wine. And on the Royal Princess, there's the, the table that is essentially in the, the wine cellar, a big glass, so you're surrounded by bottles of wine. And that's a hell of a table to sit yes, at. That's yeah. really, really the lovely. Crown yeah. And the, um, and the uh, Super Tuscans, the, so the Italian reds, were <laughs> sensational. Mm. And also, the other thing, which are, you know, it's always nice to, nice to know that you're not actually getting ripped off and the, the prices were, were better than I've seen them anywhere. Yes. So yeah. that in itself is... And that means that you, if you're interested in wine, you get the chance to taste things that you perhaps wouldn't have forked out for because mm. they were they are uh, you know out of your out of your price range but that i thought that the, the cruising experience you know one of the things that surprise you is the fact that you know if you are interested in wine then those wines become much more um easily uh, accessible because uh, because the prices are so good well thanks for that philip that was quite insightful wasn't it? absolutely yeah. yeah right okay let's move on now to celebrity cruises and mm. these embrace grapes on board their ships with advice from joe fatterini and amelia singer the presenters of the wine show with uh, an international tv series all about you've guessed it wine so at certain times, Amelia and Joe will actually be on board ship to host a series of wine tasting sessions, as well as to develop a list of their own favourite wines. Tough gig, isn't it? I know, tough. Whew, how'd they get that? They're also helping Celebrity to plan some amazing shore excursions to vineyards in France and Italy at harvest time. Now on a Celebrity ship, you can enjoy a range of wines within a plethora of bars and restaurants but dedicated specifically to wine is the amazing Cellar Masters, where there's an expert sommelier behind the bar waiting to help you find your favourite. Now let's move on to p Cruises, and these are launching exclusive access wine excursions to the celebrated Blandy's Wine Lodge in Madeira, which I've been to myself and it is fantastic. Now these tours have been designed in partnership with p and Cruises food hero wine expert, Ollie Smith. Now, Ollie Smith's Taste of Madeira tour gives passengers the opportunity to learn about Madeira wine. They will enjoy privileged access to Blandi's Quinta Santa Lucia vineyard and Blandi's wine lodge and private museum, along with a wine tasting and a sumptuous lunch of local delicacies, paired with, of course, different wines. 
Now, of course, Glenn and I can probably tell you quite a lot about the wine cellar on board the Cunard Queens, but all three of them have their own wine cellar, which firstly can be quite unique. Um, and they're widely regarded Cunard to have one of the best selections of wine at sea. They also have an excellent enrichment at sea program that's in partnership with the Wine and Spirit Education Trust. So while on board a Cunard ship, you can actually take a fully certified wine and spirits course. And this is actually a proper recognized course. The types of things they're gonna teach you are the different types of wine, correct storage, how to identify different styles through sight and smell and taste, food pairing and basic serving techniques. Now moving on to the height of luxury, let's look at Crystal Cruises. And created for the true wine lover, these one-of-a-kind luxury winemaker dinners feature some of the rarest wines in the world. One such event showcased a nearly impossible to get 1959 Chateau Lafitte Rothschild and a 1996 Screaming Eagle from Napa Valley. Now Crystal Cruises is renowned for both its classic and modern cuisine. Restaurants on the 1060 passenger Crystal Serenity include the Silk Road, which features signature dishes created by famed chef Nobu, as well as Piero Selvaggio's Prego. And in the vintage room, menus focus on, of course, the famous wine pairings. So despite this stiff competition, the undisputed doyen of wine cruises is still at the moment the Sea Dream Yacht Club, which in 2018 alone um, is planning nine dedicated wine voyages. Now, aboard Sea Dream's duo of boutique yachts, you can choose a variety of shore excursions to enhance the onboard wine experience, from exploring the stunning Serentino winery at the base of the volcanic Mount Vesuvius, to wine tasting and truffle hunting at the Castello del Regine in Umbria, or learning the art of making paella to pair with local wines in Cartagena. But the undisputed highlight of every voyage is the winemaker's dinner, where representatives from visiting wineries offer a selection of their wines to complement the executive chef's special menu. Now we move on to Silver Sea Cruises, and their wine series voyages aboard Silver Sea Cruises offer passengers the chance to broaden their understanding and appreciation of fine wines. They are usually hosted by Silver Sea's wine ambassadors, Lawrence de Almedia, who works in conjunction with onboard sommeliers to present wine tasting and presentations. Now, of course, there are many river cruises as well, which do offer a lot of intensive wine-related activity. Um, and the great thing about them as well is that wines are often included as part of the price in lunch and dinner. River lines are also more lenient about passengers buying wine ashore and then bringing it back on board, either to enjoy in the cabin or maybe bringing it even into the dining room. And finally, of course, river cruises regularly offer a lot of wine-themed itineraries as they're sailing through the center of the destinations past the vineyards where you can almost reach out and pick the grapes. Now, most river cruise lines normally partner with a vineyard or a wine expert who will deliver expert lectures and tastings during the cruise. The winery also usually sells a certain amount of wine to the ship, which they can then use during the special dinners hosted on board. Now, another way to tap into a wine cruise is through a full or partial charter. Now, in this scenario, a participating vineyard or winemaker has a certain number of onboard rooms available for wine lovers who book through a third party. Now, participants will usually have their own wine-themed activities, independent of the rest of the passengers on board the ship. Now, it is worth noting that most of the luxury cruise lines, some of which, of course, we've just mentioned, include some wines in the fare, but the number of wines that are included do depend on the line, and usually you have more choice and more variety the kind of higher luxury you go in yep. the sense of your choice. Um, some luxury lines even give passengers the option of having wines placed in the room, uh, in the in-room bar, free of charge. So there's a lot of things you need to look into here. If you really do love your wine and you want to kind of pay up front and then not worry about it on board. Now, let's have a look at some of the top tips for people that do enjoy a little glass of wine on board some of the vessels. These are our top tips, aren't they? Yeah, of course yeah. it is, yeah. So one of the one things is if you're planning on making wine or general drinks a big part of your cruise, it might be worth checking out a drinks package as an add-on to the overall price. There's nothing worse than having a big bill coming through your door on the last morning. And also what's nice when you have that drinks package is you can try a drink, that's not for me, I'll try something else, and you know it's all included there in the price. Plus, remember you don't have to drink the whole of the bottle in one go. You can, regardless of whatever Glenn says, ask a waiter to cap the bottle and store it for you for the next night to eat in whatever restaurant you choose to go to, or maybe take it back to your cabin, finish it on the balcony. It's quite romantic. 
Now another tip is to let your wine steward know what you want to uh, order for your meal and this prevents any wait for wine as they can get swamped at certain parts of the night and allow them to decant the wine before you arrive. Mm, really good tip that. The other thing as well is to try maybe a wine with desserts. Um, sweet wines such as Moscato pairs really well with the bitterness of chocolate. And also don't be afraid to ask questions. Shipboard sommeliers and wine experts are there to help and assist and take your wine experience to the new level. They love talking about wine, so if you get a chance to do it and they've got the time, they'll advise you the best ones to go for. Also, ask about the history and origin of the wines you order because there are always stories behind the creations. So hopefully that's given you enough tips for enjoying wine at sea. It's a growing part of the industry, and you never know, and your next wine-related cruise, you might bump into Glenn and myself. Oh, God help you. Share a couple of glasses of vino. <laughs> now, as you know, we do love to hear from you, and this show is all about giving you the information you want to know, so please do get in touch. Let us know if you've been on a cruise, had a great wine experience, or you plan to do so in the future. Now, on last week's show, we asked you which colours cherry blossom bloom in. And the answer, Glenn, was? The answers, of course, were pink and white. Of course, the right answer. Congratulations to our winner, whose name you are reading now. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Ben. I'm Keith. That confused you, didn't it? <laughs> we'll see you soon. Cheers, guys. Ta Hi, everyone. Thanks very much for watching the video. Please don't forget to comment and subscribe below. And remember to click the bell to get those notifications turned on. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel content like this, then click on the videos to the right, it will be really, really informative. Or you can click on the Planet logo to the left and go to our website for some really fantastic goods. Thanks for watching.